Okay, little Yoshi is here, and we want to talk about, well, what do we want to talk about now? It's getting to be late in the afternoon, and the sun is shining in my face. What is this idea about um, looking into the sun when it's just uh, just above the horizon in first thing in the morning and late at night? Some people say this is a healthy practice. Um, it sure feels nice. I'm not looking into the sun, just so you know. It's too high in the sky, so I'm kind of looking down at the ground and the sun is shining on my face and it feels warm and lovely. Uh, it's up It's up too high to look at it directly. Uh, so it's right when it's just above the horizon and if you're in a city um, you have to find a view corridor where you can get there. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know if it's, you know, if you're getting some chi from the sun or not. Um, but some people say, and it's a curiosity for me. Other things that we're talking about are... Um, um, this is getting right in my face. I'm not going to do this. Um, I don't want to tell you about certain things right now because they're not bringing me where I want to go. Where I want to go is less bothering. More nothing at all. Less bothering, which is mm, who, do, who am I less bothering? No one knows who I'm less bothering right now. But uh, that is a focus. Less bothering this doesn't explain it at all. Uh, okay, so we have to go into more detail. Less bothering means who normally gets bothered. People, places, or things. And if people are getting bothered, why are they getting bothered? Is it an energy you're putting out? Is it information you're putting out? Or is it that you're not contacting them and they really secretly wish that you would um, contact them? I find people very hard because... Um, for this exact reason is like you know they're putting out an energy of friendliness and then when you work on trying to develop a friendship with uh, these people no they don't want it so why what's going on with you you know you're friendly to me when i see you and but you don't want you know you're putting up like stop 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 um i'm friendly to you this little bit this little bit, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you. I don't want to know who you are. I have no interest in what you have to say. I call this wearing a mask. This is basically, you know, if you go into the shopping mall, the clerk comes up to you and is trained to, you know, can I help you with something? They're wearing a smile. Um, but... I don't really know. It's just, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are some shopping clerks that are willing to share something themselves, but then they've got their boss hovering over them, you know, don't be wasting a lot of time on this one customer, you know. In other words, I don't know. That's just my, my impressions, having worked in retail and So, you know, these masks, these social masks that we wear because we have to, because, you know, we're representing a business. What if it's people that really aren't doing anything business that just 
We're saying, you know, I'll be friendly with you for a little bit, but I don't want to know who you are, and I don't want you to know anything about me. It's still a mask. It's still a mask. It's mostly the reason that I give you. You're not being authentic. And why is it? It's mostly to do with caution flags. Seeing caution flags. In other words, don't get involved. Uh, my past learning experiences are, if you get involved in this situation, it's going to go bad. How do you get past your memories of similar situations where you felt like, oh, if I ever have to do this again, I'm not getting involved. It's a new day. It's a new situation. I know, but I just remember that it's the same. It feels the same as something else, and I don't want to get involved. I mean, it happens to me. It, you know, it happens to me too. It's just like. Um, Someone suggests, why no, why weren't you more spending time with that person? And my friend Marvin the Martian would say, I'm too self-absorbed. Um, is that what it is, that we're all too self-absorbed? Are you too much focused on your mission? And sometimes you kind of get surprised when you're knocked off your mission. Are you in the now moment when you're on your mission? Or has your mission become more than being present here in the present moment? It's a delicate balance I'm going to give you. It's a delicate balance. And if you get the feeling like, you know, it felt like I'd didn't really get involved in that situation just take a few breaths and go to quiet inside and see because it may be that you know you got the right information that it just wasn't appropriate to get involved anymore or you may get a really weird thing where you know just take a few breaths and go quiet inside and see if your feet turn around bring you back to the same situation trust your feet some people say trust your gut. I say trust your feet. Breathe. Try and calm down. Ground yourself in the present moment. And then say, okay, feet, you know, take me where you're going to take me. And trust your feet. No one says that. Trust your gut or trust your brain or trust your first impression. I say trust your feet. You know, move feet. And if they just sort of keep you in the same spot, that's fine. Or if they take you to the bathroom or... You know, it take you to get a cup of coffee. It take you to go and walk by someone or whatever it is. Trust your feet. That's your Yoshi wisdom for today. Trust your feet. <laughs>